Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my first update for my Pen That palette for 2019, the ABH Subculture palette. If you missed my intro, I'll go ahead and throw that up into the cards, into the cards, in the cards, so that you can check out the intro and how the palette looked then. Since we only have one update to look back on, here is what the palette looked like in the intro. And here's where we are currently. So I am so excited that I was able to hit pan on a new shade. I hit pan in electric and it's rather large pan. I know I don't tend to work in one spot over and over and over again to hit pan. So when I do hit pan, it's kind of large because I do tend to use the entire pan of product. So the pan in electric is fairly large and I'm going to be working on expanding that in the next couple of weeks because I have been loving using it as an all over lid shade and as an inner corner highlight. It's so pretty. This look I did use subculture for today. I actually show you step by step how I did this look in my last get ready with me. So if you want to catch that and see this tutorial, don't forget to jump to that video and there will be a timestamp. It is kind of a long video. There will be a timestamp when the tutorial begins. So you can jump straight to that if you just want to do that. But for the look that I wore today, I had Edge, New Wave, and Electric. And that was it. I've also made significant dents, speaking of Edge and New Wave, in both Edge, New Wave, and Destiny. There are dips that I can see physical dips in. I honestly think the next shade I'm going to hit pan on is going to either be New Wave or Destiny, just looking at the size of the dips in those pans. I honestly haven't even really been reaching for Adorn that much, but I have been experimenting a lot of these darker shades and I've made looks that I really, really enjoy out of all the shades except for Axis. I need to figure out how to use Axis. It is fairly patchy, unfortunately. The rest of the shades, I found like a good way to work with them and like make them look really nice on my eye. Axis is the only one where it doesn't look that great. <laughs> So I've been using it more as like a tight line. Since it is such a dark blue, it could kind of look a little bit darker as a liner. So I've been using it as a tight line. I've been using it just to kind of deepen up looks, but when you blend it out, it does look a bit patchy. So that's the only shade I'm not that happy with so far. So that's going to be my goal for the next month is to maybe find a way I can use Axis that doesn't totally like ruin a look, right? <laughs> But everything else I'm actually very, very happy with. Another look that I've been loving is using Roxy All Star and Adorn. Very pretty look. So I was so happy to hit pan on another shade so quickly in this project. My goal for the next month, like I said, is to find a way to use Axis just because it's the one shade I'm having issues with at the moment. And then I really want to make some more progress on new wave and destiny i think i can hit pan on one of those within the next month or two if i continue working at them just because the dip like there's a dip i don't know if you guys can see that dip <laughs> dip and dip and dip and dip and dip so i'm still inspired it's only been a month i keep thinking about uh how long this progress or the how long this project is going to be and i think I'm gonna do pretty good. So I do have some more video ideas for looks with this palette that I do want to do in the future. I've been using it in Get Ready With Me, so if you want to catch those, make sure you check out my Get Ready With Me's. But I already have one tutorial idea that I'm really excited about, and it includes Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, so let me know if there are any other specific tutorials about subculture that you guys want to see. I talk a lot about how I actually handle the shades and how I apply them in that last get ready with me that I mentioned with this look. So make sure you check that video out because I do talk about how I apply the shades and how I work with them without getting too much fallout and without running into a lot of issues that people had when they first started using subculture. So that is my update, nice, quick, and to the point. Let me know down below how you guys are doing on your Pan That palettes if you're working on one this year and what else you want to see around subculture. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.